They wanna hear that when I was broke, they ain't do shit for me. Uh, now you remember me got in some beef, then my mind changed instantly. And I hate the way I love Cause on the inside of me, killing me. Face smiles, they get me, but they probably wanna get rid of me. YouTube, I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm doing some house vlogs, some house tour vlogs today. Um, I'm really looking for a house, I'm moving with a couple of my clothing brand on the friends and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go around and look. This is area in Legacy West in the Frisco. They got some nice ass houses. I'm gonna go check them out. So make sure y'all like, come subscribe if y'all fuck the video, man. Okay, follow my Instagram. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen. But yeah, let's go. Y'all, bro. Chill out in the comment section, fam. Look, this is my first time ever putting the black spray on my for on my. I, oh, this nasty work, fam. Nah, but yeah, I'm gonna be on the way to pick up one of my homeboys so he can record a vlog for me, and I'm get right back to y'all as soon as we get there. No, YouTube, turn back on my comments, bro. Like, why is y'all disabling my comments for copyright, fam? Like that copyright video y'all took down was like a, a whole year ago. What the fuck going on? Turn back on my comments, fam. I can't see nobody who's coming in on my videos, bro. And that really makes me don't want to drop because y'all turned off my comments. But yeah, I'm tripping. But yeah, um, I'm going to get right back to y'all once I get my homeboy. Let's go. I'm at my homeboy Eric house right now. Nigga take 50 minutes to come outside. I'm just playing, but yeah, I'm at my homeboy. Damn. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I'm at my homeboy Eric house right now. I'm going to get him. We're going to uh, go, go. Damn, my shit. I feel like LeBron right now my mama. My hairline gone. I'm about 15. Well, yeah, the, the realtor just said she's about 15 minutes away, too. So we both the same uh, way. I ain't gonna cap to y'all. I ain't gonna cap to y'all, bro. I miss my bins, bro. It's like this key right here. Let me show y'all. This key right here. Brain back so many memories, bro. I miss my bins. Y'all watch my old videos, fam. I used to be driving 150 in the luxury bins. Like, what's wrong with me, bro? I miss Benz, like BMW's cool. The only thing, look, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. The only thing I hate about BMWs is really the interior. I'm used to to the luxury interior, but I could really change all this. This is supposed to be a mod car, so I ain't really tripping about why I do it. But yeah, I'm gonna get right back to y'all. There you go, right there. I'm gonna get right back to y'all. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. Uh, the lady told me I gotta wait like a couple minutes, probably like 20 or 30 more minutes before um the realtor comes. I don't know. The Sun too light. I already looked at the house. It was hard as hell. It's just you gotta see how the inside looks now. Let's go. I think it's that one right there. Hey. Is this it? 
What you think about this? <laughs> nah, yeah, this is nice. I don't want to go. Okay, I will. Bro, is this a... Like a little closet. Oh, this is a closet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I don't want this Yeah, you got this a decent. I ain't gonna lie, man. The LED thing going on here. This hard, though. I'm not gonna lie to you. This could turn this into like a game room or something like this. Make this nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We turn it to like a game or something. Yeah, this is Yeah, we got like three shots. Uh, bro. We take this three stories, bro. Oh, goodness. And this could really be like a photo room. I'm, I'm, I'll definitely say that like a little like a day room type. Man, this is tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just wanna check out this. Yeah, this would be a perfect like strictly just for like all your clothing and stuff. Yeah, and it, yeah, this is nice. Like, it's like a, like a store, almost a storage type of room. Yeah, exactly. Stuff that can't fit in your closet and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't know. I gotta get a video. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this shit is crazy as fuck. Yeah, this is hard, though. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Yeah, this is And everything worked perfect. I like this. Uh, Alright, we checked out the bottom. We got a pool table. Man, I ain't about to turn this whole section to the game room. Put a TV right there, and the game right there. Switch all this to this right here. Man, you ain't peep this. Right here, this uh, like little patio. Look. Yeah, I ain't even look out here, bro. I know they got a top one, too. Let me see. I was gonna lock this. Uh, and it's smooth, bro. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Look at the view on my thing. Like the angle is so decent. It's, oh, yeah, it's too hot. Oh, that's a nice view. I wanna go see how the uh, third floor is. The best thing about it, see? Yeah, office I think that's like the, room. Yeah, that's the office type room. I don't think we're going south there. There's some personal stuff that's on there. But the view, as far as the view, everything is really nice. Oh my goodness. Boy, what? This is crazy. How long, fool? I dropped this. Now, let me tell y'all about this lady, fam. This lady is the definition of stereotyping a person. So, basically, the lady, this is the owner of the house, right? Okay, so, the realtor of the house, I guess she wanted to sell the house. She walked in and told, well, the realtor told me and my friend, Eric, after, like, the lady left that she was stereotyping us, like, why you got these dudes in my house, this and that. When she first walked in, she asked, I don't think y'all heard her, she asked us, like, what are y'all doing in our house? Like, she was basically, the realtor told me that she basically was looking at us like, we don't got the money to afford it. And that's why I hate about this world today, because, like, people stereotype people. I saw the same thing happen with Speed, same thing happen with J. Cole. Like, people like to stereotype people, especially black men with free forms, hairstyles like we do. Like, and that's crazy because me, Speed, and J. Cole got the same type free form dread. But it's like the lady was looking at us like we was super broke or something. Like, she don't know how much money I got in my pocket. Like, while she looking at me like that, she don't know how much money I got in my pocket. Like, you can't stereotype me like that because she asked me and my looks like, come on now. But basically, after she, you see, you're going to see the lady walk up right after. But right after she left and walked up. She told the lady, like, okay, tell him to stop recording. Because she thought we were trying to do something other than, like, record footage for this, like. But, yeah, y'all, that's just crazy because the stereotype in this world is just super crazy nowadays, fam. Like, psst, that's crazy. What's the video taping for? Oh, yes, man. Uh.
Thank you. Up here. Did she? Uh, yeah. No, this is crazy. Look how we usually refer. Hi. Yeah. Hey, this is nice. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is crazy. Third, three. It's up to a thousand months. So this work. No, this is better than living in Miami. Cause it's chill over here too. But the kitchen is good. I look tired as hell, my bad y'all So boom, let me just tell y'all what happened fam Basically, as you see from the vlog Me and my homeboy are supposed to vlog the <coughs> I don't know what this lady think This lady must think I'm broke She must think I'm just some black bro But the racially profile stuff bro She came inside that motherfucker Y'all ain't see If y'all look on the video She was looking at me some type of way Like you can't really see it from my angle Like, But she was looking at me like this is a nigga, like he broke, like I swear. Like I ain't have no money knowing, boy. I'll pull out a stack of cash from that. But uh the realtor came down and told me right after, like, all right, she don't want to record her. We stopped the camera. She like, yeah, she's basically racially profiling y'all because the way she said that, like, who are these people inside my house, stuff like that. So I was like, damn. Boom, like me and my homeboy walked outside after we got done touring because we went it's third, it's three floors. We went up to the third floor, looked every looked at everything. We left and then as we were leaving, we walked out the door. I'm still like, I'm playing this smart. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I waved at her, like, all right, thank you. She had her daughter in the car recording us like this. What's some weird shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you? What's up with you? Damn, my lips look pink. I look like Piccolo right now. My mama. Hold on. Yeah, she was just racially profiling the fuck out of us and shit like that. So that's what I don't like. I don't like shit like that, bro. I don't lie to you, so. Uh, we got another house tour vlog. I don't know. This is probably going to be the end of this video. I'm going to do. Hey, so sorry. I was driving. I wanted to let you know. They only want to do a 12 month. Okay. Well, the lady came in. I guess that was the owner of some shit. She came in with some big ass Kim Kardashian lips. That's fucked up, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. This racially profiling shit is so fucked up nowadays, fam. Because motherfuckers will look at you. And think you don't have no money just off basic you look or just think you just a criminal film because I got free forms. That's probably what I know y'all saw what the dude did to speed film. Dude look at speed, speed was trying to buy a cash car, dude threw him off. Overall, what do you think about the house? I'm also so sorry about the whole video thing. But yeah. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. This is just all fucked up. I try to really do a vlog for y'all to show y'all. I really fuck with the crib though. Like me and my home boys probably still gonna try to move inside that crib. Um but other than that, yeah, um, this is probably the end of this video, fam. Should I add this clothing tips up inside here? Let me see. Should I, should I do that? Yeah, I'm 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 uh give y'all some tips about clothing right quick. Hold on. I ain't finna miss it. I was supposed to been telling y'all this is the last video, but I have to pull up these apartment complexes. I'm finna sit down in the lobby and tell y'all about how to start a clothing brand and everything y'all need. So I'm gonna get right back to y'all once I'm up there. Go ahead and show y'all how it looks over here. This, I love the apartment company, bro. It's so nice. I'm still like mad about what happened earlier. I ain't gonna cap to y'all, but I understand though. Cause I'm an African American dude with free form, like with tattoos and all that. So I can see how they look discriminate me off, off just off that so i ain't really tripping about that no more but ain't no way to room clothes bro damn they changed the code number to this what that's crazy
Appreciate the nice blue right here. You living inside. Okay. From the lights, let's get to work. Boom, what's up, YouTube? My name is 3K Javier. Um, I run a clothing brand called Rich and Rich. As y'all can see, I got my own merch on right now. I'm just on here today to show y'all how to start y'all clothing brand, how to run a successful clothing brand. Okay, boom. I'm only, I started my clothing brand from scratch with no help. Just me seeing YouTube, people on YouTube, on TikTok, talking about how they started a clothing brand. And I started mine from scratch. Uh, last November, my first drop, I took a lot of losses, so... The only reason I'm gonna give y'all these steps and gems on how to do this clothing brand stuff because the losses I took, I wanna tell y'all what not to do and what to do so y'all won't have to go through the same thing I went through. Now look, before I even start the video, y'all know y'all just like me. Y'all wouldn't wanna watch nobody telling y'all how to make money off something and they don't got proof that they made money. I'm gonna show y'all a screenshot of what I made on my last recent drop that it was a limited drop that I had open for just two weeks, maximum two weeks. Now don't mind this phone, this phone is kind of messed up. This is one of my oldest phones I ever had. I had this phone since I was a senior in high school, 2022, 2021 really. Okay, let me go to it right quick. Okay, so like I said, I know y'all don't like to listen to people that really haven't showed y'all proof that they made money off what they made. This is what I made in two weeks. It's gonna say 30 days, but I made it two weeks. My website was only open for two weeks, so. Let me try to zoom in because like I told y'all, my phone screen is kind of messed up. But as y'all can see, it says 14.1K. Hold on, that's 30. And this is my accounts. What they say? Really, really rich. It's off Shopify. I made 215 sales. So I'm going to tell y'all how to do this easily. Now, look, I'm be off and be like, what the hell? The craziest thing about this whole thing is I ain't promote on Facebook. I ain't promote on TikTok. I ain't promote none of this. I promoted my stuff strictly off Instagram Reels, fam. Now, let me tell you, I'm just going to get straight in. Number one. <clears throat> the first thing you should do if you run pre-orders make sure you you on shopify so before you even do your first drop ever make sure you get your shopify account and get your merchant account do not run no pre-orders without a merchant account i'm telling y'all right now this is why i went left my first two drops my first drop ever i made 54k 54k this facts you go on my clothing brand instagram my first drop ever fifty four thousand dollars oh i got took it from shopify you know I shop by they gonna hold your money for 120 days. After 120 days, let's see, I dropped November. They still haven't given my money. So $54,000 went down the drain. I was sad, depressed, all that. Like, damn, I just lost so much money. Boom. Okay, um, let's see what happened next. My second drop, November, got held by GoDaddy's website. So I was really down, I wanted to quit, but you know, you can't quit in this clothing brand stuff. And one thing I want to tell y'all, unless you're real lucky and this, this small, you're going to be lucky in it. Now don't watch the video thinking like, damn, mom, maybe I want to do a clothing brand, clothing brand hard. Clothing brand is not hard at all, y'all. Like a clothing brand, running a clothing brand is not hard at all. I'm telling y'all, just, if you got that grinding, you're going to succeed. Matter of fact, just don't think you're going to get super rich the first year, unless you, in, unless you in touch with multiple country creators, like big country creators, such as like Kai, Duke, Dennis, all that stuff. They only look like I missed a two. The hell? Boom. But number two, get you a merchant account. The reason I say get a merchant account, y'all, is because you need a merchant account. A merchant account is for high risk processing. That means if you get a chargeback on Shopify without a merchant account, they're going to take your whole account down. You get a chargeback with a merchant account, they're going to look into that chargeback. They're going to hold the chargeback, put it to the side. Take the money out your account. Your account's still gonna be up and running. Uh, a high merchant chargeback. Okay, look, this is another thing. It's just like, how can I explain this? A merchant account is so good because this, the, this is the reason I'm so happy I got a merchant account. Because when I got the merchant account, fam, I was able to make my money quick. You know, if you start off with Shopify, or any other website, if you drop and your sales spike up like this. You go to zero to five, 10K in sales in like less than a day or two days, they gonna close your account because they gonna think it's suspicious activity. I'm telling you right now, like don't do that. You gonna be so mad, fam. Number three, um, <clears throat> let's, okay, that's all on that. That's all you really need for to drop your website. Make your Shopify, make your website on Shopify, get you a merchant account. And let me tell y'all something like this, bro. Y'all should hit that like button right now because I'm one of them cold. I'm one like the only. I'm, I'm not gonna say the only, but it's this minute. It's this small of a chance that y'all gonna see a clothing brand owner get dropping gems like I'm doing for y'all, fam. Because when I first started off, I'm not gonna drop no names, but I asked plenty of clothing brand owners, big clothing brand owners, that's on TikTok trending, that's doing sales. I asked them what they told me bullshit. I said, hey, bro, 
I just had my money hold from Shopify. Like, what, 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 what should I use to not get my money held? What I didn't realize was that these clothing brand owners is all in competition with each other. They don't want the other clothing brand owner to be bigger than them. So they'll tell you something. So this is why I keep telling y'all. <coughs> this is why I keep telling y'all. Y'all should be lucky that I'm really giving y'all this stuff that I'm telling y'all this stuff. I think Quan told people about this too, but y'all should be real lucky that I'm telling y'all this. Because some clothing brand owners will tell you to do a pre-order, use Shopify, use Stripe, use Square, and they'll hold your money. And now you're sitting down thinking like, damn, this clothing really for me, that's how I was doing. So Mr. Rock, keep telling y'all, hit that like button right now. But what what else I was gonna say was um on the Instagram way. When you start promoting your clothing on Instagram, you got to push content out there. Now I saw a lot, I saw so many brand pages that want to be so 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 like so good for their stuff. Like they want to post three pictures and keep their pages look super professional. But fam, you not gonna get no reach with that. Especially if you don't got no like. See me, it was so easy for me because I was already doing content. I was doing TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. So it was so easy for me to promote my brand and get reach. If you start off from zero, say if I was to start off from zero right now. I'll go on Instagram right now, post three times a day. Go on my clothing brand Instagram right now. You'll see all I do is literally anything that a regular person could do. I'm a regular person. I'm saying like, you know what I mean? Like the content that I was posting on my clothing brand, promote my clothes, anyone can do that, fam. Like there should be no reason none of y'all could do that. And I told many people that run clothing brands, like bro, all you literally got to do with this is just get them like this. I'm going to show y'all get you a little black sheet a black um sheet from walmart put it like this show off your clothing you see i'm doing this it's all you really gotta do show off your clothing literally all you gotta do fam show off your clothing post that three times a day use cap cuts to edit your videos use pixar to edit the, your pictures Post them on Instagram three times a day, different videos. I promise you the first week, how much that? Five times three, what's that? What's that? Y'all gonna just come down below. I know it, bro. I don't think I'm dumb, fam. Y'all tripping. It's 15. Five times three is 15, fam. 15 videos, four or five of them gonna send out crazy and it's gonna get you some sales. Now imagine you post that for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Don't get too comfortable. Just keep posting. Your stuff gonna be out there. I promise you. Now, like I'm surprised. Like when I first started, let me tell y'all. I already know this. When I first started clothing brand, I thought it was gonna be easy. I thought my first drop was gonna go crazy, and it did. But I ain't know all these losses. You, you gotta be prepared mentally for these losses, fam. Cause it, you gotta be prepared mentally, bro. Cause it's gonna be sometimes gonna be up, sometimes gonna be down. When they held my money, fam, I was laying down for a week straight, for two, three weeks straight. I ain't want to get out of my bed, fam. You know how bad, you know how depressed you'll be to lose $50,000, bro? Like, you'll be real depressed, bro. So let me get back to the steps, okay? <clears throat> That's the Instagram way. Don't pay for no ads. Let me tell y'all about what Instagram do. If you pay for ads on your post, they'll uh, send out some more people to reach for it. But after that ad run up, They'll start shadow banning your content so you pay for more ads. They try to get more money out you. Um, this is a really quick video to show y'all everything, bro. Number two, um, if your budget, if you if if you don't really got that much to put in the budget for your clothing brand, start off with t-shirts. That's why I messed up too. I had money like when I first started. Don't get me wrong, I had money, but it's like I ain't have money to just spend thousands on clothing like that just to like you know. That's one thing I messed up because when I start off, when I first dropped, I think I was doing pre-orders, but I was dropping like super expensive hoodies and manufacturer was like, manufacturer was going dumb. Like manufacturer was charging me thousands and I was paying it like, damn, I'm tripping. So boom, um, if y'all need a manufacturer, I'm gonna put all my manufacturers right here for y'all. I'm gonna put all of them right here. And y'all should thank me for that too because these people be gatekeeping their manufacturers. I'm gonna put some of the best manufacturers right here. Um, Number two, um. Like I said, bro, you don't need no... Oh, that's what I'm finna say. Y'all gotta stop with the photo shoots, fam, on the clothing brand, bro. Everybody doing... Stop getting groups of people and making photo shoots, fam. That's not gonna do nothing. That's gonna make your stuff look kind of professional, but it's not gonna do nothing as far as getting you sales, fam. Like, 
you can get a person to go to your page and they'll be like oh that's professional but why would i buy this okay it's professional but why you got to give them reason to buy it see mine rich rich people gonna be like fam your brand is called richie rich like there's so many brands called rich motion mine's got a meaning over it i'm gonna put my picture right here mine's got a really meaning so that's why i'm saying like when you create your brand make sure there's a meaning behind your brand fam like don't just motion boys what's the meaning behind that fam rich rich meaning when i was young you could go to my old post you go to my old tick when i was young i was a hustler fam i was coming home elementary school piece of dope fundraisers fam i was it was a lot bro it's a really it's a real story like i literally you know what matter of fact i'm gonna put the video right here matter of fact hey, yeah i'm gonna pause this video y'all i'm gonna put the, the this is the real story about my come up in my clothing brand growing up as a kid my mom and my dad always gave me the nickname richie rich they gave me that nickname specifically for the reason that i was always outside at night grinding and hustling and coming home with tons of money now that i told y'all where it come from let's get into the meaning behind it fast forward to my freshman year of high school i was a young kid coming around school we're selling iphones we're selling candy doing everything in the world to make me fast cash and everything i mean everything was going so good right up until this point august the 14th 2019 i was out hooping i got a call from my auntie saying that my mom had a heart stoppage at her job it was the worst day of my life i knew everything was going to go downhill from there and without a doubt it did october 27th 2019 i lost everything i used all the money that i had to try to pay off her medical bills but it was too much and i couldn't pay none of the bills at the house alone so i had to move in with my aunt i remember calling my mom and giving her my promise that i was somehow gonna make enough money to pay all her bills so she wouldn't have to stress ever again but i was trying and trying to do everything i could to make enough money but nothing was working at all fast forward into my 10th grade year i literally had no clothes for my name i had to beg friends to wear their clothes Luckily, I had some friends that let me wear their clothes, but I was full of depression throughout the whole year. Everything stayed the same until one of my old friends put me on real estate wholesaling. He taught me how to do it, and I grinded and grinded every single day and night, losing sleep until I learned how to do it. And just like that, my first four months in, I made 50K. At this point, I have never touched that amount of money in my life. So I instantly called my mom and told her the good news and that I was going to be able to pay her medical bills. Plus, get us a new spot to stay at. Fast forward into my senior year, I started living the life that i wanted i blew up on social media and i started doing everything i always wanted to do this what made it even more better i graduated high school and made my mom very proud one year after high school i started living the life that i manifested and actually lived up to the name richie rich that my mom and dad gave me as a kid after reading this message my mom sent me inspired me and motivated me to start a clothing brand so i started to draw and make mock-ups to send to my manufacturer and this is how it turned out this is how my samples turned out and i was just proud of myself that i was able to make a clothing brand because the story of my come up was real life crazy I made this clothing brand to motivate and inspire people that they could grind and reach any type of success that they put their mind to the reason that i got my nickname rich rich but yeah rich rich because i was a young hustler coming home my dad and my mom gave me the nickname rich rich because i'll come home with money that's like elementary school fam grinding <coughs> But really, that's all to say this. Um, I hope everyone's seeing this color brand stuff. Color brand is getting oversaturated because people just copy the next trend. But I just want to tell y'all, separate y'all stuff from people. Promote y'all stuff. Don't copy no trend, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, don't copy no trend. And I saw people getting mad at the coin dude because he gave y'all constructive criticism, fam. When I looked at them clothes y'all sent, bro, everything looked the same. Like, I know y'all going to be under the covers, like, I forgot TikTok won't turn on no comments. I know y'all gonna be like, bro, like your color, my stuff don't look nothing the same from other people at all. I got different, that's the thing about me. I got way different designs. What y'all showing, bro, was designs of a SpongeBob with grills. Fam, who the fuck finna buy that shit, bro? Let's be real. Who the fuck finna buy SpongeBob with, with diamond grills on a shirt? Y'all be making the dumbest shit, fam. Y'all gotta make some shit that niggas have to be dressing shit too. But yeah, that's all I really wanna tell y'all. I just really wanna give y'all these gems and stuff. I really gave y'all the easiest gems in this video. So if y'all watch the full video, y'all really love it. Because everything I told y'all, see, I didn't even have to go deep into depth about how to start. I just told y'all. They Okay, let me start. Let me rewind back. Let me give y'all all the steps in one. Number one, create you a clothing brand Instagram. Number two, create you a logo. Number three, create you a name. Number four, create you a Shopify account. Number five, get you a merchant account. High risk processor payments. Look up high risk merchant accounts. You're going to find one. It's going to take a week. Number six, 
buy bulk buy like some t-shirts for like six hundred dollars like a hundred t-shirts six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars buy that number five get you a vinyl cutter well now nah, this take number five away number five get you a merchant i mean uh uh manufacturer i'm gonna put all my manufacturer right here again uh number six promote 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 before you drop you should at least promote for three four weeks fam promote instagram you could start tiktok mind y'all i only promote on instagram i'm gonna start promoting on tiktok and, and you all that stuff promote on tiktok just promote number six make sure you're shipping everything on hand bro number seven make sure your clothes hard take pictures of your clothes promote it all that fam i'm telling you it's gonna work out but yeah this is really in the video if y'all need more tips dm me on my clothing brand instagram i'm gonna give y'all more tips and stuff like this it's just because uh i think it's off from the clothes i'm gonna have to go I gotta take a shower, I'm tired, and my phone finna die. So make sure I like and subscribe, y'all enjoyed the video, man. No cap, let's go. Yeah. Um once again, bro, whoever clicked them videos that I just told y'all about, whoever could click those and put them on TikTok and make it go viral, I'm paying hundreds of dollars to each and one every single one of y'all that makes the clips go viral. That's what I really want to do. I really want to um start paying people to start clipping my videos, put them on TikTok and stuff, you feel me? So yeah. But yeah, um, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Javier. I'm starting a vlog. I'm changing all my content. So yeah, if y'all enjoyed the content, make sure to like and subscribe, man. And damn, this shit got. Yo, my look clean as hell inside here. I can really take some pictures inside here, no cap. Y'all fuck the fit. Bro, I messed my baits up earlier, fam. But yeah, make sure I like and subscribe, man. I'm out. Them blue hearts here. Yeah. Bro, look how fucking sleepy I look, man. But yeah. I love this comfort, bro. But nah, for real, I'm gonna end the vlog. My bad. Y'all keep saying I'm gonna end it. No, end it. I'm gonna end it. So make sure y'all like and subscribe. Let's go.